What up, Doconners? While I recently made a video talking about some very important dates that are coming up for different banners and celebrations like Part 2 and Halloween, I didn't talk about some live stream events or some news breaks that are going to be coming up for Dokkan in the near future and in the somewhat distant future. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about three major dates that you guys want to be marking in your calendars so that you guys do not miss the news that comes from a few very notable events starting with the one that most recently dropped in game if you guys might have noticed we received an announcement for dragon ball the breakers if you guys are not aware this is the newest dragon ball game to drop and this is basically like an asymmetrical game where it's one big bad hunter versus a bunch of good guys who are the hunted and you know it's it's like a game of tag basically it's it's like the the most common comparison is dead by daylight it's kind of how you can visualize it's not exactly like that but that's kind of a good comparison to start with so this game is celebrating its one year anniversary. So to help, I guess, bring more eyes to the game, because it is, you know, understandably so the baby of the group. So it doesn't have as many uh, viewers and participants and all that. They are bringing in the big guns. They are bringing in Xenoverse. They are bringing in Legends and they are bringing in our very own Dokkan. No fighters, although I don't think is fighter. Yeah, no fighters is a huge game. Are there any other games for Bandai in terms of like major Dragon Ball titles? We've got the Breakers. I don't know if that's major. You got Xenoverse, you got Dokkan, you got Legends, you got Fighters. Is there any other Dragon Ball game that I'm missing that's like currently active and with support? Let me know, guys. I don't actually think there is. But anyway, that's not the point. This is going to be talking about, first of all, the Breakers one year. Then they're going to do an early new season gameplay preview with some esports players. Those esports players are Onuki and Kazunoko. Another challenge for you guys. Comment section down below. Who are they? What games do they play? Because <laughs> Breakers is definitely not an esport. Then they're going to do a round of Breakers Survival Challenge with the game's producers. Kotani from Breakers, Song from Xenoverse 2, Toshi, our boy from Legends, and Omatsu from Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Sorry, guys. No Koto. That is not going to happen. So after all of that, they will then break new information on Xenoverse, Legends, and Dokkan in that order, apparently. And this is all going to be taking place October 27th at 7 p.m. PDT. Now, if you check your own in-game news, it will tell you exactly what time it starts for you. But if you are too lazy to do anything, I will tell you that it is two hours after that day's reset, whatever day it is for you. So I will be going live on the channel to watch the Dragon Ball Breakers news, but more importantly, waiting for the Dokkan news. Now, in terms of the Dokkan news, a couple of things here. Based on the timing, this is very clearly going to be happening after the Part 2 festivities drop, so it will not be regarding the LR Spirit Bomb Goku, although I would not be surprised if they potentially reiterate what they mentioned regarding the pity system on Dokkan, because Global will be, I think, the first to experience the new pity system, because they said that they were going to be implementing it on the upcoming Spirit Bomb Goku banner, which is understandable, as it is the most forgettable banner in Dokkan to date, I think, this year. But yeah, so they will probably talk about that, and then they will maybe, most likely, either talk about Halloween or maybe start talking about heroes. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do or how extensive it's going to be. I can't imagine it's going to be a very long segment just because it's got to be mainly about breakers. And I don't know if they necessarily want to be bringing in all the big guns to take away from breakers. Like the last thing they would want to do is to try to cross promote with breakers and then have Dokkan drop some crazy like Super Saiyan 5 Goku that overshadows everything else. So I don't think it's going to be a whole lot. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like one unit that's announced maybe. Some people were thinking that it could be a Breakers collab, like free-to-play unit or something like that. Recently, we got the Sandland cross-promotion, even though it wasn't a playable character. So I guess that is possible. Although, I don't know who that would necessarily be, because they can't exactly give us, like, an MC character or, like, a one of the, the main characters that we use. Maybe they could. I don't know. It would be very interesting. I feel like the most likely scenario is that they announce Halloween units or something. Like, it's not going to be that eventful. But we'll have to wait and see. So mark your calendars. I will be going live for this one. Make sure you guys are there for that. Moving on to the next announcement that was also released recently. And that is for the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is basically like the E3 or the San Diego Comic-Con of all things Dragon Ball. And I believe this is year four or year three that they're doing this. Now, the cool thing about this one is that this one is taking place in my backyard. This is taking place at the LA Convention Center. So I will very likely be attending. Not that that matters. You're not going to find me. But that's going to be happening January 27th and 28th. Now, the only reason why I could potentially not attend is because this is around the time that JP gets the nine-year anniversary news. So if the news were to break before this, I would want to be around to cover it. But then what will probably be announced among most things during this live stream event, they will probably go into details about the nine-year anniversary. Normally, this 
This thing drops around February or March, I believe, right? I mean, actually, no, I think it's more in like October. So the timing is very weird here and it does coincide with the nine year anniversary. So the major question is going to be, will Global and JP be celebrating the nine year anniversary at the same time? Whether they do or don't, that will probably be the primary focus of the Dokkan segment during this. So we don't have a time yet. We just know that it's going to be happening January 27th and 28th. By the way, if you guys do want to attend, pre-registration is required to attend the event and the admission is free, which is pretty cool. So if you guys do want to attend, if you want to uh, randomly find someone at the LA Convention Center, be like, hey, that's Toon, you know, feel free. No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. But yeah, if you guys want to attend, it's free. So uh, that is another date to take note of. When we get the time, when we get the full itinerary for when things are going to be happening, I will let you guys know in a follow-up video. October 27th and January 27th. Mark your calendars. And last but not least, Dragon Ball Heroes. That is the other major event that's going to be coming up. This live stream is going to be happening on uh, the 22nd of October. That is for Japan. So it will likely be the 21st for um, the West or most of us over here on the United States, on the Western Hemisphere at 1800. So that's uh, if we subtract 17, that's 1 a.m. So I think it's going to be October 22nd at 1 a.m. PDT for me, which is eight hours after the day's reset. That is likely when this stream is going to take place. Now, this is not going to be Dokkan centric. This is going to be celebrating all things Dragon Ball Heroes, which I talked about recently. So for the Dokkan segment, there will be a Dokkan segment as confirmed in this little itinerary here. Goresh has translated it and it basically just confirms the Dokkan collab on the 22nd. Also talks about a new. Also, for those who follow heroes, they are teasing a new battle system. I don't think this has anything to do with Dokkan. This is just extra hero stuff. So this is the other date that is confirmed. As far as the timing is concerned, maybe I should actually make a here. Let me I'm going to type this out for you guys and then I will delete it because I don't want to mess with my timeline here. But let me write this down. So October, October 22nd, 1 a.m. PDT. That is the first date. That is Dragon Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Then October 27th at 7 p.m. PDT is Dragon Ball Breakers. Then the final one is January 27th and 28th at <laughs> Dokkan nine year Annie. Oh, actually, I don't have to say anything. It's it's a uh, Dragon Ball battle hour. Mark your calendars. Take a screenshot. Do whatever you got to do. Make sure you guys are ready for these three dates. If there's any more dates, I will let you guys know in future videos. But for these, I will most definitely either live stream it or cover it in some form or fashion. And here's hoping that we get some really good stuff for here. I think it'll be, well, this will be heroes, obviously. They could even, I think in the past, they have announced things for upcoming. I think they like also mentioned version Z once during the heroes Dokkan segment. I, I'm not sure. It's very, very short though. So whatever they do announce, I will cover it. October 27th will likely be Halloween, maybe a little bit more continuation for heroes. And then, oh, also there will be another actual video somewhere in between um for dragon ball heroes there will be a full-on like dokkan dragon ball heroes live stream or premiere they do do that we don't have a date for that i think they will probably announce that during this and then of course january 27 20 uh, 28 that will be for dokkan that will be likely for the nine-year anniversary the full synchro and anything else that they want to cover that is it. Mark your calendars. Did you do it? Did you do it? Good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, your predictions, your guesses for what is going to be announced in any of those dates that are coming up. As far as Dragon Ball Heroes is concerned, name one unit that you really want to show up. For the Halloween, what's the unit that you want to have? For the nine-year anniversary, what theme do you want? A lot of people are right now saying the Tournament of Power. I think it's going to be Majin Buu Saga. I'm just throwing that out there. So let me know all of your predictions and more in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and Archimer to Dokkan responsibly.